Now let's look at swaddling in a bit more detail. Babies really love to be swaddled. Swaddling provides so many benefits to young babies, including keeping them really nice and warm and switching on their calming reflex. It also prevents that startle reflex from waking them up. Keeping your baby warm will make sleep come much easier to them. Dress your baby as you would dress yourself for the temperature of the room. Comfortably warm, but not too hot and not too cold. Always consider this when you lay your baby down to sleep. If you were gonna to go to sleep in that room, would you be comfortable with the thin sheet over you or would you prefer a warmer type of blanket? Always use swaddles and blankets made from really nice natural fibers to allow airflow and to prevent profuse sweating. Cotton and muslin are really great natural fibers. Be sure to avoid anything like a soft mink blanket. They're not safe, they prevent good airflow and this is gonna affect the temperature regulation that your baby can do. It's gonna make them really sweaty and not actually provide them with much more warmth. These blankets also really increase the risk of suffocation. So you can swaddle your baby using a pre-made swaddle suit or a fabric square. When using a fabric square, swaddling your baby is gonna be so much easier if your square is at least a meter by a meter, if not more. Anything with some stretch in it is gonna make swaddling so much easier. I love these beautiful swaddles from Little Lux Label. They're big, they've got beautiful prints, and they've all got four-way stretch in them. So to swaddle your baby, take your nice big swaddle square and fold the top down about 20 centimeters. We're gonna then place Bub on top of the swaddle with their shoulders at the height of that top fold. We're then gonna take one of the sides all the way over Bub's shoulder across their body and tuck up under their hip. Then take that same side and bring it up over baby's shoulder. Then repeat the first step with the other side over baby's other shoulder all the way down and tuck under their body. Tucking under their body is the key to keeping that swaddle nice and tight. The excess that you have at the bottom after doing that, give a little twist and then tuck up under baby's body on both sides. So an alternative way to swaddle your baby is we're gonna have the swaddle lengthways and we're gonna fold the top down about 15 centimeters. And place your bub on the swaddle with their shoulders at the height of that top fold. Then we'll take that little bit folded over and we're gonna tuck that over baby's arm and tuck it up under baby's same hip on that side. That's gonna put the arm in that little pocket and then we fold that arm and that excess material over under bub's bottom. We're gonna then take the other arm and put it in the pocket as we did with the first one, tuck under the bottom and then fold up over baby under their bottom. This is a great example of your soft mink-like type of blankets. They are soft and beautiful, and you'll probably get lots of these sort of blankets as presents, but they're not safe for sleep. Great if you wanna lay your baby on the floor to play with them, but not while they're sleeping. So these swaddles are made by Little Lux Label. They are absolutely my favorite, come in such beautiful prints. There's so many more prints as well. And they're made of 99% cotton with the stretch in them as well. So they're so great for swaddling your baby. And they're really nice size. Probably a metre, I haven't measured them, a metre 50. There are many different ways to swaddle your baby. And it's really just about finding something that works for you.